I've gone into the aspect quite a few times about how we are imprisoned by the wrong idea. We are, in point of fact, wearing the wrong idea. We are wearing a prison suit, a cancer suit, the suit of death, a shit suit. This is completely the wrong idea. It is a fiction through and through. Completely. As a point of fact, this is not a metaphor. Anyone who would seek to be free cannot overlook this. This is another aspect where one cannot have it both ways. There's this concept, it's out there still that one is going to be free while still wearing this cancer disease infestation that they call the human form. This completely erroneous concept filled with just all kinds of disease. Just look at how it needs to be maintained, as I've said, constantly. It's leaking all the time. Look how much shit it leaks out. Snot, piss, shit, pus, blood. Just, it's disgusting. It's a piece of disgust. There's nothing beautiful about it whatsoever. At all. The only way that anyone can see any beauty in it is because one is looking through the wrong lens, through the wrong vision. One's been indoctrinated as well, but also quite actually imbued with the incorrect vision through and through. So everything is seen wrong through this form, this human form, this prison suit. Completely. That's a point of fact. This is a very difficult one for basically everyone to get past because everyone's been used to this form for their entire existence, obviously. So it's a very difficult one to see past, to see through, to know that we are not this form at all. Not in the slightest. This is a clown suit as well. This is the main point I'm going to get to today. It's a clown suit that constantly clones itself. Absolutely. Because it's all about the clowns that clone themselves. Clown, clone. Very, very similar phonetic, obviously. So when one looks in the mirror, are they seeing that they're wearing this clown suit as part of the circus that we are caught in? I've already went into the words that prove this out as well. Absolutely. It is a carnival of reincarnation, the flesh. And it's a joke. Look to the Greek sarcasmos, which is where we get sarcasm from. It means flesh. Because this whole flesh, body, rotting corpse, cancer infestation, disease, pustule, body, is a joke. It's sarcasm to eternity. Completely. Through and through, without a shade of doubt, and so many completely believe in it. They believe in hell's system, and they believe in this body, which has been given to you by hell's master. Figure out who that is for yourself. Everyone should know that, obviously. So you've been quote-unquote gifted this particular form, this prison form, 
this disease form by hell's master and so many believe in it through and through this clown suit this sarcasm that we are wearing it is sarcasm absolutely so there's a lot of clowns that love to clone themselves and it is the clown wars the clone wars obviously that's a reference a lot of people know the reference but it is the clown wars and this biological disease that we are imprisoned by loves to clone itself it loves to clown around it loves to dick around lots of dicking around yep not much courage or heart out there a lot of dicking around and a lot of pussies absolutely another tell for sure so would one want to be free while well, you're gonna have to stop dicking around stop being a pussy stop wanting the desire of cloning this wrong idea over and over again but the biological urge that magnetism oh it's so much and of course when you're involved in dicking around it just feels too good the drug the crack just wanting to clown around still not take anything serious and keep oneself tethered through that construct to other biological forms the user is the used read between the lines with that one as related to the construct of how one enters hell's realm can it be seen so many clones so many clowns just wanting to perpetuate things keep pumping kin for sin so why in the hell would anyone knowing that they're in hell quite actually why would anyone want to bring more kin into this place for hell's master wearing this illusion this fiction this disease this siphon suit we're not wearing it 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 wears us it wears us down absolutely it just wears us down until we are withered into nothing into oblivion right into death's arms again to repeat the damn process over and over and over so does one want to be done with the circus does one want to finally say goodbye to the circus or does that disease pleasure just feel too good just too good to give up and that might be the case a lot of people it very much seems actually do love shit they love sticking their nose in it over and over again just like a dog absolutely because this is a dog system just sticking your nose right up in it so if one wants to keep doing that have at her the drug construct this crack that's doled out that one is also contained in it's a pretty powerful force just like any drug it's a pretty tough addiction to crack to crack through it absolutely is it's going to be a matter of how badly one wants to be free 
Absolutely. How badly does one want to be free? That's going to be the question. Or is one just going to listen to the abusers, the nihilists, the horrendously judgmental, the ones that are actually heartless? They believe through and through in the crown of the mind. They are lovers of death's system and the way it's set up. And they love this biological form and its disease pleasures. They love it. It's all they think about for the most part. So is one going to pay attention and listen to those individuals trying to convince everyone out there, especially in the time to come, that one can have it both ways. You're going to be free of this system, which means that you're tethered to the body in this system. The mind is also part of it. Obviously, the mind and the body are one and the same. It's all part of the same system and construct. The whole thing. It's a package deal. So, those that believe in hell will do their utmost to convince you that you can be free and be in this biology. Of course, that's a total fallacy. A complete lie. Just an outright lie. But this whole system is based on lies. And its master is truly the father of lies, the father of fictions. Every day producing more and more fictions, more and more of these death suits, more clowns, more clones. Is one interested in cloning themselves still, making more carbon copies? Of course, it's said that this suit is a carbon-based form. Better get busy dicking around and making more carbon copies for hell. How could anyone who sees with their heart, knowing that they are stuck in this wrong system completely through and through, how, knowing that, could you possibly possibly want to bring any more individuals into it. You must be asleep completely. You have to be. There's no other explanation. There is no freedom to be found in this system. There's no turning it around. There's no slight adjustments and then we move towards a new direction and everything's going to be better and we still wear these disease forms. That's why I say anyone who is legitimately seeking truth and to be free, this part cannot be ignored. It can't be bypassed. You can't conjure some ridiculous concept about being free and still being inside of this cellular construct form of erroneous, erroneous concepts through and through. It's just disease. That's all it is. So this is coming to that time where either one is going to see that and do everything that it takes to be free in the near future, or one is not, and one is going to remain in the circus, remain in this cloned idea, which just constantly clones itself over and over and over again, creating more carbon copies, getting everyone to pumpkin for sin, because that singular idea of sexuality is just too powerful of a force to bypass. Too much 
to put beneath oneself. That's what one must do. Put that construct beneath oneself. One has to be above it. Has to. It's the only way to become untethered. One has to be unchained. The French for dog, chien, unchained, undogged, bury the whole dog, as Gurdjieff said. And then the interviewer that was asking him questions that one time said, you mean bury the bone? No, I mean bury the dog, bury the whole damn dog. People didn't get it. They didn't get what he was really saying. So either one is going to get this and understand that one cannot have it both ways in this regard. Not at all. Or you can listen to the abusers who make fun of it. Just make fun of these revelations that are being brought out. Because who else, who else out there is talking about the human form as being the wrong idea, as being the fiction? Really ask that question. Who else out there in the entire world or so-called truth community is presenting the body as the death suit, as the completely wrong idea? It's not about getting frickin' credit either. Who cares about that bullshit? But it's a question and it's an important one. Who else is presenting this? It is so damn important. It's not being conceptualized right now how important. That's the problem. That's why I'm bringing it up in different ways. I'm really trying, I really am. Either one's going to get it or one isn't. That's just all there's going to be to it. TikTok time is running out. We are running out of time. It's getting pretty damn close to midnight. I'm going to put it that way. Also, there used to be a backup channel for all the presentations and the person who did that i don't even know who that individual was but they completely dismantled that backup or the backups that existed so just another example of when the approach changed it's obvious that you're going to lose individuals and in the time to come it's a good reflection it's a perfect reflection in the time to come, those who consider themselves such true seekers and ready and willing to do everything, you're going to see people just fly away. They're just going to disappear. So many that even believe themselves to be ready for what's to come. People, you just have no concept of the immensity. And I'm not saying that as some type of insult, as a way to make a person feel inferior or less intelligent has nothing to do with that. It's literally just to tell you that one has to prepare for incomprehensibilities just that which has not been faced whatsoever in the slightest ever before. It's why it's so important, and I maintain and keep repeating this, to lose all the distractions, all of them. Listen to the heart. Listen. It is speaking to Everyone who is paying attention to it and isn't caught up in this dream world 
believing that everything is going to be fine forever and ever. So one's going to get it or one isn't. That's just all there is to it. And the point being about the backup, if anyone feels that these works, these messages throughout the years have been important enough to back up, then do so. Do so now is what I'm saying. Now is the time. If one feels that any of what has been presented is important and relevant. Just hold it on a backup. That's all. And if no one feels that it is, well, then so be it. Then that'll be that. All right, that's it for today. Talk to you again soon.